Go. Hello, everyone. Seventh level presents. Hello, everyone. Oh. Seventh yeah. Shut up, background person. Shut up, you. Shut up, the show's about to begin. <laughs> You too, Mona Lisa. <laughs> he ecky thump. I heard that. I forget what the E ecky thump skit was about exactly, but it was a silly thing. E ecky thump. Hello, good evening, and welcome to It's a Living. The rules are very simple. Each week we get a large fee. At the end of that week we get another large fee. <laughs> if there's been no interruption at the end of the year, we get a repeat fee. And now for something completely different. This game is basically just... This is the first Monty Python game, complete waste of time. It's basically a few mini-games and a lot of silly things and lots of references to the Monty Python show. Uh, the next two games are actually a lot more fleshed out. Oh, right. I had, I had clicked on the Lunatorium when I was testing the game out. I forget. Yeah, I think I think initially the skull opens up. No, no, I don't want to go there. No, don't click on there. No. Why don't you try going to the, um, uh, into the, uh, 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 more. Are you lost? I can't stand being in my brain. Why don't you go to bed? Go on, can we go somewhere else, please? Oh, I've had enough of this brain. It's only a cheap one. Let's go to a better one. Are you enjoying it in my brain? Well, get out! <laughs> I'm enjoying it so far. It's been so long. So I finally got this working. It took a lot, long time to get this working. Um, I played this when I was really young, as well as I played a lot of Monty Python, the, the, the Holy Grail. Actually, I played that one more, but for some reason, this game was always really hard to get working, like... I, I was able to play it for a little while, but then it broke. My computers could no longer run it, run it, so I haven't played it basically until this day. But I remember it being just. Oh yes, I should press your trousers if I were you. I remember I should press instead of pressing there, press my trousers. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, now you need to press F twenty seven. F twenty seven. That's it. Don't have that one. Yes. <laughs> I should press your own digit. Take your nose and stick it up your nose. Oh, oh, yes. Take your nose oh, can't do that. and stick it up your nose. No, you don't get that on a Spielberg game, do you? <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, yes. No. That's right, love. Hit yourself on the head with a book. It's the best thing to do. <laughs> okay, this is going on. I'm just clicking on a spot and it keeps saying more stuff. So it's a, a lot of... Oh, oh, that was, oh, that's great. A lot of random quotes that oh, they prepared. Oh, It's about as far left as I can go. <laughs> right a bit. Okay. <laughs> no, no, dear. A bit more right. Okay. Woo! Up, 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 up! No, 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 no! Down, down! Oh, now you're gonna go left, dear. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I was you! Oh, I wouldn't do that if I was you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear! They're making this, this... I'm just clicking on the background and they've made it naughty now. Ooh. Certainly a lot of the sexual innuendo was lost on me when I was very young. Just touch it here. Ooh, don't touch me. Just touch the button. Ooh. Don't touch me. Just touch the button. Ooh. <laughs> you might even need a new brain. Oh, I couldn't afford a whole new brain. If you need help, press F1. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, you pressed help. Oh, yes. Press it again then, love. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's got a silly help. Help. He wants some help. He should be so bloody lucky. <laughs> help! <laughs> this game is completely ridiculous. I haven't even made it to one of the rooms yet. My old son. <laughs> help! This is help. Yes, ah, you're not going to get any help at all. What do you think is a regular computer game? <laughs> Just endless, endless more quotes. Endless more little uh, sound clips. 
joke sound clips as you press. You idiot! Why don't you buy something decent? New heap of pallet droppings? Ooh, yes. Why didn't I buy something decent? You know, I really don't know. Oh, I don't think you'll get any help here, dear. Oh, now you've come to the wrong place. I think you should press F12. Okay. No, F72 is what you should press. I don't have that one. Press shift, enter, and then go and have a nice cup of tea. Shift, enter. Okay, well that one didn't do anything. <laughs> Nothing else on F12. Oh, yes, I should press your trousers if I were you. Okay, now it's back to pressing my trousers, even on F1. <laughs> well, that was silly. Alright, so what do we want to do? The exploding TV room? Heck yeah, the exploding TV room! Good evening. We've got an action-packed evening for you tonight on Thames. Is it gonna, is it gonna explode? There we go. That was a lovely skit. Is that the... Song called the was it the Blue Danube? Uh, with explosions. Let's try something else. Can, or is it gonna explode? Wait, what I do? I clicked on the penguin, and now we're in a penguin thing. Penguins, yes, penguins. What relevance do penguins have to the furtherance of medical science? Well, strangely enough, quite a lot. A major breakthrough, maybe. Are these amazing breakthroughs ever achieved except by years and years of unremitting study? Of course not. Nevertheless, scientists believe that these penguins, these comic, flightless, web-footed little bastards, may finally, unwittingly, help man to fathom the uncharted depths of the human mind. I don't remember that skit. There is tons of skits, like... I'm having trouble remembering exactly what skit that was from. I remember what skit the, the, the penguin on the TV sort of was like, Where, Where's the penguin from? I don't know, it maybe came from the zoo. You know, that was a pretty good one. Here at the Institute, Professor Charles Passerell, Dr. Peaches Bakovitz, and myself have been working on the theory originally postulated by the late Dr. Kramer that the penguin is intrinsically more intelligent than the human being. <laughs> the first thing that Dr. Kramer came up with was that the penguin has a much smaller brain than the man. This postulate formed the fundamental basis of all of his thinking and remained with him until his death. <laughs> taken this theory one stage further. If we increase the size of the penguin until it is the same height as the man, and then compare the relative brain sizes, we now find that the penguin's brain is still smaller. <laughs> and this is the point, it is larger than it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't argue with that. <laughs> oh. For a penguin to have the same size of brain as a man, the penguin would have to be over 66 feet high. <laughs> This theory has become known as the waste of time theory and was abandoned in 1956. Ah, oh, the waste of time theory. We already we found the waste of time. The theory of wasting time. The IQ tests were thought to contain an unfair cultural bias against the penguin. For example, it didn't take into account the penguin's extremely poor educational system. To devise a fairer system of tests, a team of our researchers spent 18 months in Antarctica living like penguins and subsequently dying like penguins, <laughs> only quicker, proving that the penguin is a clever little sod in his own environment. <laughs> oh, that's the same. This is Scarma, you have won your prize. Do you still want the blow okay. on the... Well, what's on the television then? Looks like a penguin. That's the skit I remember. What's on the television? Looks like a penguin. Funny, that penguin being there, isn't it? Yeah. What's it doing there? Standing! I can see that! <laughs> if it lays an egg, <laughs> it will fall down the back of the television set. You'll have to watch that, unless it's a male. Oh, I never thought of that. Yes, looks fairly butch. Okay then. Didn't know. It. Didn't under. Uh, now this is where the explosions come from. Don't know who that was, but don't know who you are. But you exploded. Okay. Don't pick your nose. Good advice. I've heard that sound effect before. 
don't know what it has to do with that guy. All right. Well. Start again. Okay, sorry. <laughs> what you? The five for penalty box for missing a bird, man. Start I didn't. Again. I didn't think there was. But. What job do you do? Oh, clean out public lavatory. I thought everything was not of consequence. Obviously, there is. It is of great consequence. All right, you're not gonna get through this. No, none shall pass. Okay. This is making more decals. Rah, kind of fun. <laughs> this is basically this is just like a giant. I can see why I enjoyed this so much when I was young. It is it is basically like a giant silly clicking thing. Alright. Fair enough. It's weird, though. The penalty box is funny. Wait. I'm, I, I'm supposed to use the brain to get out of a scenario. An area... I want to leave now. Or should I be leaving? I want to... Yeah, the brain. Let's go back to the brain. And I know that mini games are in test your skill. Yeah, let's do some mini games. I forget. I think the pig one was kind of fun. What was this one? The bird. Chicken bird bird dude game okay I like I think that's the goal there are spikes okay I think I get the idea what are my controls okay I think I'm supposed to I click on him <laughs> to move him Yeah, it's very Flappy Bird-like. <laughs> no, it's not like that. Get, wait, how do you turn turn around? Turn around, you bastard. Yeah, go that way. Get in there. Get in there. Alright, well, this doesn't seem very hard. At this point. He just flies in the opposite direction of... Oh, no. He seems to turn around a bit randomly, I guess. He turns around if I hit the face. Okay. He's got to be careful. And then occasionally he'll farts to make himself fly forward f further. And if the guy shuts his mouth, it just sucks. I can't turn myself around faster. I move forward more when I flap, so... Did that count? Oh, jeez. You can't get bitten? Okay, so this is a little bit harder than I thought. <laughs> what do you mean? You're supposed to fly in the dude's mouth, but if he bites you, it's no good? Because he wants, he doesn't want, uh, he doesn't want some Victorian dude's head. He wants, he wants chicken. He doesn't want to eat Victorian man head. He demands, don't, careful now. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Get in there. Get in there. No! Why? <laughs> the grumbling, the incessant grumbling guy who has to place those weird eggs that are in people's faces. Forgot how ridiculous Monty Python was in its early years. Damn it! I think if you hit his teeth, it's bad. You gotta get in the gullet. We're back at zero. It's like we're back where we started. What a great game. We're gonna do this one more time. I gotta, I just gotta get one more weird chicken man. What happens if you get speared on the bottom, actually? <laughs> oh, oh, jeez! Oh, that's a game over. <laughs> that was gruesome. That was particularly violent. <laughs> oh, gush! Oh, gush! Gosh, gush! I don't know what that is? Don't, don't you do it? Flip around, flip around, you. Maybe right-click to flip. Go, go, you best. Why did you hit the inside of his mouth? Oh mm. dare you! No, no, you touched his teeth. That's bad. So is that game over? Because I got negative points. No, it's game over because I. I want to score at least one more chicken. <laughs> it seems so easy at first. I just fly right into the mouth. How? How hard could that be? <laughs> don't you? Don't you? Damn it! Damn it! I should have flown above his face then. 
I'm just getting murdered endlessly. Just by this stupid, weird British man. This is a terrible game. Why am I playing this game right now? This... How dare... Whoa, how dare you deny me? My chicken goodness. I was in there real low. I was in real low. I was all up in your chin. I mean, I guess he was... I guess I need to get him on the upswing of the mouth. I, I don't fully understand. I flew right in the first time. I was like, just in there. Damn it, don't turn around! Why was that good? Why, why that counts and the other ones... He could have just as easily... I don't think there's any logic there. I don't think there's any logic there. It's a... You, you, the this gopher game. game. The gopher game. Whack-a-mole. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I see the the font is a little bit screwed up, actually. There. Game over. Oh, that's a shame. I think if I was playing... I, I, I think I know a different way of... Yeah, the graphics of the, those words are a little bit messed up, I see. The font. If I was playing this on Windows 3.1, it would have been cleaner. If you need help, press oh well. <laughs> we get the idea. There was supposed to be some sort of secret in the Lunatorium. I don't know where that is, though. All you have to do is spot the loony. This is the waddle, the emblem of our land. You can stick it in a bottle, you can hold it in your hand. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I did like the Bruce skit. The Australian Bruce skit was funny. God, I hate you! Okay. <laughs> Chorus girls. The ant. Dinsdale? Dinsdale. <laughs> That's spiny Norman. I remember him. Sorry! Good for you. All right, there's supposed to be a secret in here that allows you to... When this game released, there was a contest that you could enter into and get a prize. I'm not sure. Like, I mean, obviously that prize, that contest is not running nowadays. It's no longer running, obviously. It's been long, long over, but... Still, it would be cool to find that maze or thing or secret that they talk about. And, uh, and see if we can, see if we can be worthy to be entered into the, <laughs> the lottery, even though, or the sweepstakes or whatever, the, the thing, even though it's long over. It's an objective. There is a objective here. Spot the loony. Sure. Well done, player. And now, here is your clue. To find the game, you'll have to spot the loony. Okay, that was redundant. <laughs> Do you have to spot the loony? Are you the loony? <laughs> He's delight- You're delightful is what you are. You're not a loony. Was that actually a clue to find the mini game in this? What is notches? No, I don't know. <laughs> a poofta. This is a totally free introduction, and no money has changed hands. Whatever. <laughs> right, <laughs> from the interruptions, paying for interruptions skit. <laughs> I will interrupt your skit for a certain amount of money if you pay me. <laughs> this interruption was free, but in the future. If I said you had a beautiful body, would you hold it against me? I am no longer infected. And that was from the skit where, uh, what was it? The, the, the translation books, those little handbooks, <laughs> that they were messed up, that somebody had made cheap translating, stra translating books and uh, <laughs> filled them with dirty phrases. So like when he was trying to ask for directions, he'd say things like that. No time to lose. No time to lose. No time to lose. No time to no lose. Time to lose. No time to lose. 
no time to lose. No time to lose. No time to lose. No time to lose. Okay, and now there's a the lady dancing with it. Okay, is that... Is it, okay, can I skip this? Okay, I don't know where in the heck in the Lunatorium you're supposed to find the oh, space bar to skip things. Okay. All right then. I I assure you that the other two Monty Python games actually have more of a uh, an objective, more of a thing. They aren't just like a weird thing that you just click on random stuff. I mean, this is still kind of entertaining, but. <laughs> I mean, it, it, this game does remind me of a game like some of the games made for younger children, quite frankly. Except for it's for adults. And the abdomen, then closed in a hard armor like covering called the exoskeleton, which provides some protection from other nasty little insects. But unfortunately, not. From the dissector scalpel. See? <laughs> Nothing to it. He's not such a toughy. And his legs. They have been carried hundreds of times his own weight. But look at this. <laughs> They're not so strong compared to me. Four, five, six. <laughs> uh, you killed it. Yes. Good morning, sir. Can I help you? Ah, yes, please. I'm interested in buying an ant. Oh, yes. And uh, what price do you think you're paying, sir? Oh, well, I hadn't actually got as far as that. Well, sir, they start about half a P, but they can go as high as 3P or even 3.5P for a champion. <laughs> a champion. Inflation, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, well, I should think one about 1.5P, please. Oh, yes, well, you should get a very serviceable little animal for that, sir. Quite frankly, the half P ones are a bit on the mangy side. <laughs> uh, anyway, what, uh, what length was uh, thinking of? Oh, uh, medium? Medium, 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 medium. Yes, here we are. <clears throat> Now, um, that one there is an Ayrshire, and that one there is a King George bitch, I think. <laughs> and that one killing the little flick bat is an Afghan. That's a nice one. Oh, well, let's see how you get on with him, eh? They're talking about him like dogs, obviously. Ah, yes, he likes you. He's taken to you. What do you feed them on? Uh, Blamange. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why I said that. Uh, don't feed them at all. You don't feed them at all. What do they live on? They don't. They die. They die. <laughs> <laughs> they die? Well, of course they do if you don't feed them. <laughs> I don't understand. Well, you let them die. Then you buy another one. It's much cheaper than feeding them, and that way you have a constant variety of little companions. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I would. I would like to use the brain. I would like to use. Stop it. Wait, that's not my cursor doing that. That's a separate cursor. He's gone up, and he's going up, up and left, up and left, and he's clicking away, and clicking away, change fingers, clicking away, and oh, so very, very close to his goal. Well, that was weird. Now can I use the brain? Thank you. Guess let's uh, do this. I remember this being my favorite mini game. I think. I say, Teddy, you said something, Teddy. That's right, I did, Teddy. Well, what is it, Neddy? Piggy banks, Teddy. Piggy, piggy banks? banks Neddy. Neddy? Yes, I want to hunt piggy banks, Teddy. You want to hunt you piggy banks, Neddy? That's right, Teddy. The pig game! The pig game. Alright. Uh, yeah, the words are kind of messed up. Ombre. Like, I don't know. You just, you, you shoot pigs, you shoot piggy banks, and, uh, they, they try to poo on you? I guess this game isn't actually, oh, if they get to the ground, they murder you. Okay. It's like, what does it say? The, the colors are a bit off, I must say. I Space to jump. You know, actually, there's, this game isn't actually that advanced, I must admit. <laughs> It was the best mini game in this game, which honestly isn't isn't saying too much. Oh, and if you jump over the pig, the poo pigs, 
then you dispatch them. Okay, well, I mean, it may, it may get harder. <laughs> it's not actually seeming that great at the moment, though, I must admit. Mostly, this is a bit of a nostalgia for me. I'm most... Honestly, I'm mostly interested in finding the, uh... Okay, so I didn't do that well on that. Let's 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 try that again. Let's actually try to do this properly. Yeah, sorry about the discolored words. But yeah, if 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 pigs Oh, I can change my direction too. If pigs are to the ground, they take away my score. Yeah, they take away my score. If they touch me, I guess. Minus twenty. Next so there's a bit or no. If I step on them I can dispatch them. Is that how it works? Yeah, you can jump on them. Okay. Okay, well, I've effectively learned the mechanics of this game. Oh, I see. I gotta shoot each one twice. You get 100 for shooting poo. Okay, well, I'm not seeing how it's getting harder at this point. <laughs> Except for if you shoot, if you, well, if you get, if you, if you, you start getting, letting poo get on the ground, that, but it, it seems like if I just keep jumping, it's, it's fine. 20 points. Wait, what happens if I let them all land but just avoid them? Nothing. Okay. Oh, bonus round is what it's saying there, even though you can't read it very well. I can spam the shoot button, right? Oh no, I gotta juggle them. I gotta juggle. Did I knock him off the top of the screen? I knocked him off the top of the screen. Okay, whoops. I didn't think I could knock him off the top of the screen. Ah, uh, now I've reached the partners. I've reached the partner difficulty level. Okay. No, no! Okay, so this game is getting more interesting. I wonder what the hardest difficulty level is. I kind of messed up there. I did. I was marveling at the fact that this game actually is... There's more to it. I was a little bit worried that there'd be very little to the game, considering what I've seen <laughs> up to this point. Alright, jump on them. Yeah, bam. Doesn't give you as many points as shooting the poo, but... Uh, I don't know, shooting the poo is scary. You have to face... It's a face down with death. No, you don't. Okay, jump between them. Can I shoot them after I launch them up? I didn't get a chance. Okay, I'm losing score here. Nope, yeah, you can't shoot. If you step on the poo pig, you can't, like, start juggling them like the bonus stage. I was kind of getting hope. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh. That was weird. I'm starting to actually enjoy this a bit more. I'm starting to get into this now. I knew this was my favorite mini game for a reason. Oh, if you step on them, you get points. That's cool. The the little pigs. Not the poo pigs. The poo pigs, you don't get anything, but yeah. Yeah, you defend yourself. You get to live. That's what you get. Now that the miniature piggy banks. Okay. Yeah, I can't let the piggy bank keep up there because it'll keep it'll keep pooing. You gotta kill the piggy banks quickly. Oh no. Okay. Well, this game seems to be very forgiving about just like spamming jump. Oh. oh. Yes, yeah, it was like the poo is all over me. That poo is all over me. You can just jump like crazy. You seem to be nearly invincible. Okay, so, <laughs> just, okay, well, yeah, if, if you're afraid, you can just jump like crazy, I mean, I'm, again, now I'm starting to call the question, call, call, call question the quality of the game now. <laughs> okay. You don't want it landing in your face, that's for sure. Okay. 
Shot the poo right out of the pig's arse. Just instantaneously. If you can just follow the pig, you can follow you, the, the way to get the most score is to follow a pig and just shoot shoot bullets up its rear end. <laughs> Makes no sense. But it does. If you know how to hunt if you're hunting piggy banks. <laughs> okay, well. This is very silly. My life has become very silly. Gotta actually hit them. Don't knock them off the top of the screen though. Just keep juggling. Keep juggling. Oh, they're still going to go off the right edge of the screen eventually, right? Yeah, so you can only get so many out of them. Alright, come over to the left side of the screen so I can juggle you as much as I can. How about that? Uh, so now I'm a cowboy. Difficulty. We're on the cowboy difficulty setting. Or level or whatever. The, it, 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 I think the rate of fire of the pig is getting higher. Yes. But. If I just keep tabs on the pig, it, it's not that bad. Ooh, that was a little bit close, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, that... <laughs> I did die. I did a fi I, I jumped right on it as it landed. That's not good. Okay, so so much for being invincible. I was messing around and trying to shoot the poo. Because the poo gives more points than the pig does. If you keep... If you keep, uh... If you keep farming the poo. <laughs> That's risky. That's risky. You're playing with poo there. It's worse than playing with fire. Oops, whoa. Alright, we gotta get rid of Oh no, don't land there. Okay. <laughs> I'm on my last uh, my last life. I, I should I, I, the game is pretty easy. Why did I why did I get myself killed? Is that my last life? That was yep, game over. I don't know how difficult that game gets, but if I was actually trying harder instead of messing around with shooting poo all the time, I think I could have made it a bit further. The corridor. I really did like Terry Gilliam's animations. Wizzo. Wizzo butter. Sorry. Sorry. And random farting noises. <laughs> you know, I'm realizing how much more this this type of comedy actually suited myself. When I was very young, it, it really suited my my comic tastes quite a bit. Uh, but I realize I realize how very immature <laughs> this kind of humor was. But I, I still love I love the zaniness of it. First, there is the cherry fondue. <laughs> but it's it's no wonder with all the animations and everything why I liked it as a kid. I realize. Sorry. But there still is a lot of references that. Sorry. I didn't get back then. Okay, yes, enough of the farting. If you need help, press F1. Heard that First, before. There is the cherry fondue. Okay. Oh. Oh, they're farting at me and First, saying sorry. There's the cherry fondue. First there's a the cherry fondue. First there is the cherry fondue. Next. Crunchy frog. Crunchy frog. Okay, I get it. First there is the crunchy frog. Number five. Ram. Oh. Okay, okay. First, the crunchy frog. Number five, ram's bladder cup. Anthrax ripple. Anthrax ripple. Cockroach cluster. Cockroach cluster. Okay, now what? Pinball. 
Okay, cool. I forgot about pinball. Wait. I turned it off? No, no. Don't no, pinball. Pinball. Yes, pinball. Alright. Yes, thank you, Mr. Pig. You were once my enemy, but now you are my ally, Mr. Pig. Kind of a weird perspective. Doesn't really feel... It feels kind of odd. It feels like the physics are somehow slightly... A bit different from your typical pinball game, but it, it kind of works. It's pretty close to typical pinball physics, but I feel like the physics are like slightly being fudged here and there. <laughs> there certainly are a wide array of targets. Oh, I have a I have a cursor with which to shoot. I'm supposed to be shooting while I play pinball. What a weird. What a weird idea. No? Yes? Do I shoot that? Do I shoot these? Can I shoot the ball? Do I shoot the pink elephant? Do I hit the pink elephant with the ball? Can I shoot you? No, you're helping me. So I can hit things with the ball or my gun. What is the point of this? <laughs> I, be be believe I believe there is no point. Just like life. Complete waste of time. If you if you want the meaning of all this, play the, the play the third game. You, oh, you want to play the third game, the meaning of life. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? That, we don't get around to that th till the third game. I mean, you can ask God in the second game. <laughs> you can ask it, you, it, if you you'll you can meet God and ask him yourself in Life of Brian, but you know you don't really get around to it to the meaning of life. The meaning he won't he's not going to tell you the meaning of life. You you get to find out the meaning of life in the meaning of life. Oh, okay, you. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> you bastards! How dare you take my ball away from me? <laughs> I was I was getting tired. I was getting a bit tired of it. Go ahead. Still got a few more balls left. Do I get do I get anything for getting a high score? Yeah, it's not not a lot not a lot to this this pinball machine. There's just like usually there's like usually what makes a pinball machine interesting is like higher objectives, like ramps you can get up onto or uh, I don't know like things like collecting a bunch of letters or collecting a bunch of different things or getting like this combo sort of thing. There's there's usually like a series of objectives you're trying to achieve to like get a higher score or something on multipliers or special areas you're trying to shoot for or a combination of bumpers you're trying to hit or something. I don't know. Yeah, that didn't grab me. But kind of fun. Just makes no sense. All right. Oh, is this going somewhere? Am I just watching a car drive back and forth? Alright, yeah, yeah. Apparently, yes. Apparently, yes, you are. <laughs> I, I, do, I did like this skit a lot, too. Hello, children. <laughs> Hello. Here is this morning's story. Are you ready? Then we'll begin. <laughs> One day, Ricky the Magic Pixie went to visit Daisy Bumble in her tumble-down cottage. He found her in the bedroom. Roughly, he grabbed her heavy shoulders, pulling her down onto the bed and ripping off her... <laughs> <laughs> Old Nick the Sea Captain was a rough, tough, jolly sort of fellow. He loved the life of the sea, and he loved to hang out down by the pier, where the men dressed as ladies... <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> they poke him with a stick on the side. Rumple Tweezer ran the dinky-tinky shop in the foot of the magic oak tree by the wobbly dum-dum bush 
in the shade of the magic glade down in Dingley Dell. Here he sold contraceptives and... <laughs> Discipline, naked... with a melon? <laughs> If you need help, press F1. All right. I, I think we've seen enough of the corridor. Portrait gallery. The queen. Money. Money. All right. Yes. I remember the inspector. Your wife, uh, or the commissioner. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Nudge, 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 wink, nudge. wink. Know what I mean? Sign him. <laughs> That's <laughs> the nudge, nudge, wink, wink guy has definitely become a. Uh, I see. So this is just where you watch various Monty Python clips. It's kind of a rehash of the TV show. But what do you expect? It's their first game. All right then. Let us see the dirty vicar sketch. <laughs> the Reverend Ronald Sim. The Dirty Vicar of St. Michael's... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what a lovely bit of stuff! Like <laughs> half <laughs> I didn't know what a vicar was back then. But I did have a general idea of what this guy was doing. I like tits! Oh my goodness, I, I do beg your pardon. I'm dreadful. I my first day in my new parish, I completed his yes. last one. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Never mind, a, a sugar, send Mary with a new gown. No, 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 no. I do beg your pardon. I, I help you sit down. I'm so, well, so sorry. As I was saying, um, how do you find the new vicarage? Oh, oh yes, uh, certainly, yes indeed. Uh, I find the, the grounds delightful uh, and the servants most attentive, uh, particularly the little serving maid. The great big knocker to my chicken. All right, then. So is that all there is here? You bastard! Your mouth. Shut up! All right, then. Cheerio! Are you nervous? Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Now, what do you want? Excellent! <laughs> Just a blue guy who spins his heads. It spins, it spins his head, but, or, or not. <laughs> well, since he's, it, it, at first, it was such a little thing that it's like, why? But since there's multiple of them, that it almost becomes a story now. The blue guy with the spinning head. That's what he does. You know, it's like it, it used to be a scary thing because of the exorcist, but no, he's turned it into a fun little thing. Oh. Yeah. Albatross! Albatross. Albatross! Why not? You bastard! I heard that! It's dangerous! It's not that terrible! Lemon curry? <laughs> that was a good one, too. <laughs> uh, the, it's dangerous. I'm sorry, I'm confused. That was like a quote from that skit where it was like the military. <laughs> I didn't want to be in the military! I didn't know. I didn't know. I, you, you have to fight in combat! Well, why, why don't you want to be I'm in the military? You, it's dangerous! Anything you may say will be ignored. And furthermore, <laughs> given half a chance, I'll put my fist through your teeth. <laughs> that was weird. That was Terry Jones, but with, uh, with a um, Graham Chapman quote. Blah, 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 blah. And that was Graham Chapman. I think that was Graham Chapman there. With a Eric Idle quote. Or no, not Eric Idle. Uh, Michael Palin. Yeah. And that's... Kennedy riding the queen like one of those weird exercise balls. I still wet my bed. All right then. Can we get the other painting stolen? Are we making progress? Is there a progress to be made? No, no, don't steal the old lady. Steal, steal the rest. One. Steal the rest of the paintings. Can we get the rest of the paintings stolen? I'm actually doing something here. Is there actually something to do in this game besides just click on random widgets and 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 laugh occasionally? 
Let us see. Well, there's egg and bacon. Uh, egg, sausage and bacon. Egg and spam. Spam. Egg, bacon and spam. Egg, bacon and spam. Egg, bacon, sausage and spam. Spam. The spam skit. Spam, egg, spam, spam. We gotta do the spam skit. Spam, 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 egg and spam. Spam, spam, spam. And spam. <laughs> was that like a Bren? Shoot, <laughs> just shoot. That was unexpected. That was very unexpected. This game is full of unexpected nonsense, I must say. And now for something completely different. Yes. <laughs> a little drive in theater. What a quaint idea. 20th Century Frogs production! <laughs> A magnificent history! 20th Century Frog. It was 20th just They also did 20th Century Vol, which was... I thought that was a funnier one. For a joke. This is Mr. E. R. Bradsaw of Maple <laughs> Ah, yes. Road, Southeast 5. He cannot be seen. Now, I'm going to ask him to stand up. Mr. Bradsaw, will you stand up, Stand up, please. please. <laughs> demonstrates the value of, of not, not being, being seen. seen. <laughs> In this picture, we cannot see Mrs. B.J. Smegma of 13 <laughs> Crescent, Belmont. Mrs. Smegma, will you oh. stand up, please? <laughs> this is Mr. Nesbitt of Harlow, Newtown. Oh. Mr. Nesbitt, will you stand up, please? I forgot about this skit. Oh, Mr. Nesbitt has learnt the first lesson of not being, being seen. seen. Not, to stand. not to stand up. However, he has chosen a very obvious piece of cover. <laughs> Mr. Oh. and Mrs. Watson of Ivy Cottage, Warbleston Road, Hull chose a very cunning way of it's not being seen. It's just such a morbid seen. thing. When we called just killing house, people. We found they had gone away on two weeks' it's holiday. Like... They had not left any forwarding address, and they had bolted and barred the house to prevent us getting in. However, a neighbor told us where they were. <laughs> and here is the neighbor who told us where they were. <laughs> what I love about that one, you can't really see it, but his boots. His boots are left over, which is <laughs> this house. <laughs> Lord Langdon. <laughs> Screw that guy. The gentleman who lived here and here. And, of course, here. And at this point, they're just showing random explosions, but... <laughs> oh. Alright, well, that, that made me... That, that, was, that was funny. That made me laugh. That certainly made me laugh. Are you a different one? Wait. You did... Yeah, you did... Okay, fine. Whatever. If if you can get the rest of the painting stolen, I don't know how. Pythonizer. Oh, this is this was the Pythonizer was just the. Uh... <laughs> oh, that's so weird. Okay, uh, just a bunch of random extra like sound effects for you. Albatross. That you can use for like whatever you want, or. Ideally, you would use them for like little things, like um, whenever your computer has like an error, or it's not that terrible. Yeah, yeah. Like imagine your computer has an error, and instead of going ding, it goes. It's not that terrible. Or uh. Oh, temper, temper. Or if like when you, like started up the computer or something. Stop. Or something. I can't even get it started. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> things like that. Well, that's quite enough of that. I guess. I think these were originally intended for that sort of thing. Hi. You have reached the Alzheimer's Research um, uh, Lavatory. No, uh, lobotomy. Lobotomy. Uh, oh, anyway, the, the place thingy where we study, um, what was it? Anyway, if you wish to leave a, oh gosh, what was it? Um, An answering a, machine messages. A menage a trois. No, if you wish to leave <laughs> a, oh, please speak after the, uh, the, the, um, the bath. No, the, 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 the beep! 
Oh, thank you, love. Thank you very much. Look, I'm sorry I forgot to mention you on my Academy Award-winning speech, but there were so many people to thank, love, all of whom are much, frankly, more important than you. So, uh, if you're calling to complain, please leave a message after the beep. <laughs> I mean, it used to be a thing to try to have the funniest... <laughs> the funniest answering machine message. You want to have a funny answering machine message but can't think of your own? Turn... Look no further than... Uh, Monty Python's complete waste of time, noisy bits. Oh, hello, love. Fancy you calling in now. Well, I can't talk to you, dear. I've just got to go and boil the cat. Yes! Little bugger. Won't keep still, wriggling about all over the place. Just leave a message, I'll get back to you. Honest, I will, love. I really will. Just as soon as I've called Mrs. Sartre. And see, now you, now people think not only do you have a great sense of humor, but you know Mrs. Satra and are boiling your cat. Good day, Bruce here. If your name is Bruce, please leave your name, Bruce, and your Bruce phone number after the beep. I like that one, just Bruce. Hello. Oh, hi, Diana. How are you? <laughs> great to hear from you. How's things going? Haven't heard from Charles, have you? No, good, good, good. Well, um, thanks for the other night. Bye. <laughs> I've had to burn the sheets. Uh, look, uh, hang on a second. There's another idiot on the line. Um, I just have to get rid of them. Sorry. And then I'll, I'll talk to you about the melon, the water bread, and the little rubber gloves, if you like. <laughs> Let me get rid of this idiot, please. Okay? Yeah, and, and this has something to do with keyboard sounds? What's that mean? Did I just install keyboard sounds? Uh. Yep. <laughs> okay, shut up, you. Shut up. There we go. But now, I have it set up apparently where... Oh no, not anymore. It was, like, whenever I click. <laughs> Just random sound effects. That's, isn't that great? Typewriter sound effects. Okay, now it's binging at me for pressing too many buttons. Well, isn't that great? Olay! Just various skits. Oh, are we still doing this? Can I uninstall the 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 the, the typewriter thing? None. Thank you very much. It's enough of that. Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Some icons for you. Right there, off the screen. Where are they? <laughs> All right, great. Anyways, bunch of nonsense. Yes, yes. Well, really, I'm honestly a bit underwhelmed by this game now. It, it used to be... It used to be a... I, I used to see it as a bit more fun when I was a kid, but, you know, I was really young. And clicking on random things was just more entertaining. Something completely different. It was like a giant, shiny identified a mason, mobile. Immediate steps must be taken to cure him of these unfortunate Masonic tendencies through <laughs> we'll hear something. behavioral psychotherapy. Let us begin. <laughs> yes, but of course, that's just the sort of blinkered Philistine pig ignorance I've come to expect. <laughs> pig ignorance. You garbage, you sit there on your loathsome spotty behind, squeezing blackheads, not caring a tinker's cuss about the struggling artist. You excrement! You lousy hypocritical white <laughs> You lousy color TV sets and your Tony Jack and Dog Trucks and your bleeding Masonic handshakes. You wouldn't let me join with you, you black, boring bastards. Well, I'm going to become a Freemason now if you went down on your lousy, stinking, polluted knees and beg me. <laughs> In this treatment, the patient is for the correct response and punished for the wrong one. Do you like to give up being a mason? Think carefully. Think. 
faint. No. No! That's All right, so can we click on something here? Yeah, like... Oh, no. And now for something completely different. I didn't want to leave there. And now for something completely... What happened to the completely Freemason completely thing? Different. Oh, there we go. Once identified a Mason, immediate steps must be taken to cure him of these unfortunate Masonic tendencies through the... Okay, so it's, this isn't actually a thing, it's just like a cover of a thing. As if it is a thing. But it's just a sound clip about the Freemasons, <laughs> and how there was a skit about them. Okay. Fair enough. Anything God else we can... I hate... And now for something completely different. And now for something completely different. So th yeah, this is once again... Oh, no. Flaming... Shovelware presents Flaming Star. And now for something completely different. The story of one man's search for vengeance in the raw and violent world of international archaeology. We discovered some Hittite baking dishes from the Fifth Dynasty, and Sir Robert was happier than I had ever seen him. Why? A Sumerian drinking vessel of the Fourth Dynasty. Oh, how wonderful! Oh, I am so happy for you. I'm happy too. Now at last, we know there was a Sumerian influence here in Abu Simnel. All right, I remember this skit, but it, I'm wondering what's the deal with the, the elephant with the nose. The thumb nose. Is there something we can do there? I'll get you for that, Eversley. I'll get you if I have to travel to the four corners of the earth. I'll get you for that, Eversley. I'll get you if I have to travel to the four corners of the earth. Okay, I don't think there's anything for us there. Okay, don't want to get sent to the penalty room. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> chorus girls. <laughs> chorus girls. <laughs> chorus girls. <laughs> that fart and dance and laugh. Dinsdale. 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 All right. The British Navy is one of the finest and most attractive and butchest fighting forces <laughs> in the world. I love those white flared trousers and the feel of rough blue serge on those pert little buttocks. Very enthusiastic about the name. Nope, nope. Not, you're not gonna send me the penalty room. I learned my lesson. Learned it the first time. Alright. German clouds. Being shot by British soldiers. That's very British. And now for something completely different. This was. Oh, that's that the same one. Okay. Okay. Spot the loony. May I need to spot the loony again? Well done, player. And now here is your clue. To find the game, you'll have to spot the loony. But that isn't really a clue, is it? Spot the loony. Spot the loony. See a loony? Is that more of a loony than the other one? Yes, another loony spotty. Good show. Please stand by for your clue. There are four essential clues embedded in each maze. Your job is to find them. Of course, you'll okay. have to find the maze as well. Wait. There's four essential clues in each maze, but you got to find the mazes as well. Wait, four essential mazes, like in each... What, you said, like, in each area? No, one, two, three. I'm a little confused by that hint. I think I'm actually on to something here. The There's a loony. thing to achieve in this game. Over tenuous. I'm gonna shoot the dude. I'm gonna shoot the dude. Not the yellow one, the dude. Well spotted. And the clue is 
Please pay attention to everything you hear. Okay. Well, I mean, I have been. That that isn't very. That's not a very good clue. That's a terrible clue. That's a shite clue. It's totally a. That's a terrible clue. Please pay attention to everything you see. No! 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 Don't! Don't! You can't get away! You can't get away! No! I think. I think that one was attached to my cursor. Not the Spanish Inquisition. Our chief weapon is surprise. Bow bugger. I think. I think they were messing with me that time. I think. I think they just attached that that target to my cursor so that no matter how much I moved, I couldn't hit that one. It's a very trollish thing to do. Game. Spot the, the loony. I think there's something I'm trying to do here. Excellent. Now here is your clue. Yes. Okay. What the fuck? Oh. Does that say something? That says Wait, that's a maze. Can't Oh, it doesn't read very well. What does that say? M P M P F O M P F O M P F D. There's an X there though. Okay. Um. I don't. I don't. What? I don't know. I don't know what that. Uh, it, uh, apparently, that was an essential clue. There are some maps with essential clues. To find the game, you'll have to spot spot the loony. I don't I don't understand. Spot the I'm, loony. I'm very far away. Yes, another loony spotty. Good show. Please stand by for your clue. There are four essential clues embedded in each maze. Your job is to find them. Of course, you'll have to find the maze as well. Spot the loony. So that was a maze. And there's an essen there was an essential clue in that maze? Well spotted! And the clue is... Please pay attention to everything you hear. Spot the loony. Do I just keep shooting loonies? Is that what I do? Seems like a lot of loony shooting if you ask me. Please pay attention to everything you see. Now I shot it! I shot it! Hey, I shot it this time! I got it! Look, I got it! I got it! That's just that they're totally trolling me with that one. I didn't expect a kind of Spanish Inquisition. The penalty box is different, differently spelled each time. Spot the loony. Spot the loony. Spot the loony. Oh, I probably should have listened to what he had to say. I clicked on him and he died. Well done, player. And now here is your clue. To find the game, you'll have to spot. Hmm. There are more maps. I don't know where more maps are. I thought it was all supposed to be in this particular room. If you need help, press F1. I should press your own digit. Take your nose and stick it up your nose. All right. Well, let's. Uh, what's in here? Here we see an ant. This ant is engaged in a life or death struggle with the wolf. You can see the ant creeping up on the wolf on all six six. Now he stops to observe. So this is just like the radio room. Well, first of all, I'd like to apologize for the behavior of certain of my colleagues you may have seen earlier. But they are from broken homes, circus families, and so on. And they are in no way representative of the new, modern, improved British Navy. They are for small, <laughs> vociferous minority. This skit, right. And may I take this opportunity of emphasizing 
that there is no cannibalism in the British Navy. <laughs> <laughs> There's no when cannibalism. When I say none, I mean there is a certain amount. <laughs> <laughs> but all new ratings are warned that if they wake up in the morning and find any tooth marks at all anywhere on their bodies, they are to tell me immediately so that I can immediately take every measure to hush the whole thing up. <laughs> and oh, the uh, cannibals yes, Navy. I'm glad to hear that your studio audience disapproves of the last skit as strongly as I. As a naval officer, I abhor the implication that the Royal Navy is a haven for cannibalism. <laughs> it is well known that we now have the problem relatively under control. And that it is the RAF who now suffer the largest casualties in this area. And what do you think the Argyles ate in Aden? Arabs? Yours, etc. Captain B.J. Smethig in a white wine sauce with shallots, mushrooms, and <laughs> <laughs> Last week, um, we showed you how to become a gynecologist. And this week on how to do it, we're going to show you how to play the flute, how to split an atom, how to construct a box girder bridge, uh, how to irrigate the Sahara Desert and make vast new areas of land cultivatable. But first, here's Jackie to tell you all how to rid the world of all known diseases. Hello, Alan. Hello, Jackie. Well, First of all, become a doctor and discover a marvellous cure for something. And then when the medical profession really starts to take notice of you, you can jolly well tell them what to do and make sure they get everything right so there'll never be any diseases ever again. Thanks, Jackie. Great idea. <laughs> How to play the flute? Well, here we are. Um, you blow there and you move your fingers up and down here. <laughs> great, great, Alan. Well <laughs> oh, it, this is a nice trip down memory lane. Uh, it makes me want to watch Monty Python again. It really does. I forgot how many how many skits there were and how many things I don't remember. It's you know I didn't think I didn't think I'd be laughing at all the little sticks as much as I would be trying to find secrets and interact with things. But this has been fun. I I don't think there's a well. Well, hmm, the painting is still gone. I, I feel like there's something I can do, I just don't know how to do it. Click, damn you. Click like you've never clicked before, man. You're a naughty person. Oh, you're a naughty person. You're a naughty person. If you need help, Wait, press what was that? F1. No, not, not you. This. What's that? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> not gonna be sent to the penalty room for that. And now for something completely different. Yes. Oh, that. Yes. You're if you need, you're a naughty person. If you need, isn't there a way to get the other paintings stolen? It, it feels like the other need paintings help. need to be stolen for me to achieve something. If but all you want to steal is an old lady. F1. Maybe you're over here again. If you need help, press. Maybe I can. Oh, okay. There's you're new territory. Person. There's new. There's new real estate. Oh, it came back. Blah, blah, blah. It just comes back. Well, that's no. That that's not what I wanted. Hmm. Yeah, so I think it's all in here. All you have. Well, we saw a maze. There's certainly something here. If you guys can tell me what I'm missing out on, uh, and explain that, I think there was supposed to be something more here that could enter me, get me entered in some some. Something completely different. <laughs> Even if I did get the game in time, I don't think I would be. I I I I, I, can't, I don't think I would have completed this game in time to be entered into the contest. I wanted to be entered into the contest. Spot the loony. Hmm. Spot the loony. Spot the loony. We saw a map. The map had letters on it, but there's one hint in each map. Yes, another loony spotty. Good show. Please stand by for your clue. There are four essential clues embedded in each maze. Your job is to find them. Of course, you'll have to find the maze as well. Four essential clues embedded Spot in each maze. But you'll have to find well. the clues Spot. as well. Spot the loony. So, wait, so I did find the maze. Please pay attention to everything you see. So I did get the maze. So did I basically get what... 
Uh, basically, I think the answer was in that thing, that image I saw earlier, right? I didn't expect the kind of Spanish Inquisition. All right, shut up. Nobody expected it. Spot the loony. So basically, there was a secret in that. Or I, Spot I skipped loony. you. Damn it. That image we saw earlier has four essential clues. And then you can do something with that? I don't know. There was like, there was a path. There was letters. There was like symbols. Certainly like space and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. There, There's a hidden secret in this game that I can't find quite yet. And I don't want to take the time to do so, but... Anyways, I think I'm going to wrap it up here, but this has been fun. I, help, press F1. I had a lot of good laughs. I walked down memory lane. I finally got this game working again. It was just hard to get this game working, but uh, we're going to play the other two Monty Python games. Uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, and the Holy Grail actually has more objectives to it. And I never finished that game, but it was there was a final puzzle. There was actually... Monty Python and the Holy Grail actually has a bit more of a puzzle thing to it. And, um, is slightly more linear. And same with, uh, The Meaning of Life. I never got through that one either, but I played it part way through. Uh, I made more progress in The Holy Grail than I did The Meaning of Life. So I will have a small leg up on those two games. Hopefully I'll be able to complete them in the time allotted, but... I don't know. Anyways. Thanks for taking a trip with me down memory lane, watching a few Monty Python clips, having a few laughs. It was fun. I'll see you guys at 7 when I play Monty Python and the Holy Grail. See you then. And now. <laughs> hey. I apologize for that, but I think you'll find this a bit more interesting. All right then. It's <laughs> <laughs> Apparently there's a bit more. There they go. The credits of the year. The credits that you and the society voted as the credits that brought the most credit to the society. <laughs> Sadly, the man who designed them cannot be with us tonight, as he is at home asleep. <laughs> but we are going to wake him up and tell him the good news. Are you there in Bristol, Arthur Briggs? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> they, they wake him up. In memory of Graham Chapman. Yeah, it was sad that Graham Chapman died. Wait, as, as soon as he did. Wait, are all the other mon- I think all the other pythons are still alive to this day, aren't they? Yeah. Graham Chapman did quite, quite die quite early. Imagine all the things he could have done. But anyways, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, enjoying Monty Python. It's been fun. I'll see you guys next time. In the next stream. See you then.